Hello, everybody, and welcome to NASCAR.com Garage Cam, presented by Mobile One. I'm your host, Matthew Dillner, and joining you in the NASCAR Xfinity Series Garage. We just uh, were undercover for a little rain. Welcome to NASCAR.com and NASCAR Facebook Live for a rare Thursday tweener. Yeah, tweener, because we're between practices for the NASCAR Xfinity Series, and Oh boy, the rain has stopped, the blue skies are out, and we're ready to go racing. We're going to have an entertaining, fun time showing you the cars, talking to the stars of the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Uh the number 11 of Blake Cook. Ready to go. You see the moisture on the ground, and yes, the Roman Coliseum has. Well, I'll say this the Roman Coliseum's got nothing on this, man. I've never been to either. My family has been to the Roman Coliseum. I have not. But this place right here is absolutely spectacular. 1961, this place opened. First running under the lights in 78. So many memories. You see some of the memories wrapped on the ribbon up there, including the Earnhardt Labonte Clash in 1999. I was there for that puppy. That was something to behold for sure. All right, we're ready to go now on NASCAR.com. We got our mic back, and check it out. Right here, it's Chris Rice. Hey, Rice, take the mic for a second. All right, we're at give the fans your best pump up for the Roman Coliseum, the last great Coliseum we're here at Bristol. Yeah, you better watch your ears, because if we're going to do... Whoa, if, if we're going to do Bristol, baby, it's going to be really loud. But we are here at Bristol. And if you watched my tweet last night to Quint Kenny Wallace, I talked about how the bottom is going to be key. The bottom is key. We watched Kyle Busch drive around the outside last night. But let me tell you something. This weekend at Bristol, for the Xfinity race and the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series race, it's going to be unbelievable. We're going to see the bump and run again. You know why? You know why, Dillner? Because? Because it's Bristol, baby! Uh, well, Ric Flair is in the hospital, have, has been in the hospital, so we could give him a, it's Bristol, baby, what? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. All right, Chris You know, Rice. I, I want to say something. I want to give yeah, the preview yeah, show uh, a shout-out because yes, the FedEx we do preview the, show. the FedEx preview show every week, and um, I've struggled this year picking winners. So I picked the winner last week at Michigan. I picked Kyle yes, Larson. Yes, did. That's right. So and I picked. Who's your pick for the uh, you need to go online who's your and pick watch for the Xfinity to, race this week? You need week. to go oh. to NASCAR.com and watch it. But my pick for the Xfinity race this weekend will be Kyle Busch again. But the first Xfinity regular that I liked was Elliot Sadler. Oh, Blake Cook. All we're trying who's to do right pick? now. What's you, who's your cup pick? You're not going to say? I could say you mine, got, right? You can say yours, but you got to go on Mo mine. Momentum, and this place hasn't been kind, maybe statistically, to the 42, but Kyle Larson gets it done again this weekend. This is his type of place, and he loves it. That's a good pick, but let me tell you something about five. 100 laps at Bristol. The wall gets closer and closer and closer and closer, and the next thing you know, you run into the wall. <laughs> All right, Chris Enjoy Rice, the show, everyone. NASCAR.com and crew chief over here, competition director and all-around awesome dude on the number 11 of Blake Cook. We're back. Oh, some of the rain, I think, shorted out some of our stuff there, but man, we get the best audio guy in the business, uh, uh, C.J. Letirzo, who behind the scenes while we were all doing that was like a maestro working on things. We've already had a practice so far, and uh, as you see, Ben Kennedy has scrubbed the wall there with his Weber.com 96. Lots of action at Bristol Motor Speedway. Getting ready for practice number two. A rare Thursday at the track. The 78 car here. Here. Beatty, can you lift up that cover for me right there? Something to show you. A relative of Mike Massaro. There you see the sticker. Zoe Thurston. Uh, get well soon. And uh, all of our thoughts and prayers are with you, Zoe. Uh, you are uh, definitely an inspiration to a lot of us in getting a, a double lung transplant. Uh, and on these race cars this weekend, this whole NASCAR community is pulling for you, girl. Uh, that's an awesome story uh, that you're uh, overcoming so much. And uh, we are rooting for you. Oh, Ben Kennedy's here. Hey, uh, I'll get Ben here. See if you can get Chad Fincham. 
We're doing some work here. Oh, it's uh, Ben Kennedy here at the last great Coliseum. What's up? Are you kind of like just, you ever go come here and just kind of do a circle and just look at this place and how wicked cool it is? It's awesome, man. It's cool. I love this place. All right, man. Uh, it's been a crazy practice for you. you. You put a little Darlington stripe or a, Bri a Bristol bump. What would we call that, man? Uh, Bristol, <laughs> Bristol bump, I guess. I, I don't know, but I, uh, I tagged the wall there one time. Just I, uh, I don't know if I wasn't paying attention or what, but just nicked the wall just a touch. So uh, I love coming to this place. It's so cool. Went in here last year. Um, I get to stand on the roof. I've always dreamed of that. So that was pretty special. Um, we got a little bit of work to do here. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll see where it goes. A little too tight right now, but we got another practice session. The guys are making a bunch of changes. So um, hopefully find a little speed. All right, this grip strip thing that we've been talking about it seemingly every darn week that we come to um, SMI tracks in particular, but the, the grip strip is a little different. It's a little narrower. Uh, it comes out of the turn a little further and it does yeah it comes out of the turn a little bit further um, as far as I've been as, as I know and I understand it's um it's a little bit stronger than it was last year and a little bit stronger than it was here in the spring so um, my only experience with it was in the truck race last year um, which I loved it it was fantastic <laughs> but uh, it's definitely a little bit heavier this time and I know they're gonna keep applying it throughout the week and it sounds like they're gonna put some more down tomorrow so I'm just, I've been watching that and it's interesting through practice, everybody run on the bottom. Um, and if you go run the middle, there's stuff all over the track. So <laughs> it takes you like five laps to clean your tires off and get back up to speed. But um, the grip ship is cool. I, I kind of think it's an equalizer. It puts everyone in a closer ball field and um, we still got a little bit of work to do, but but we'll get there. All right, thanks a lot, man. Ben Kennedy, driver of that Weber grills machine. Brandon Brown, Teal Nation. What's up there? Uh, you doing good? Man? Teal Nation on the side of the car. I always like seeing this because I was part of that College World Series that they, they got that W there. But uh, now you're bringing those teal colors here to the last great Kyle scene. Yeah, no, it's very exciting. We're really happy to be here. Um, it's crazy to see the rain that just comes and goes <laughs> intermittently. It's, it's kind of it crazy. It makes it humid. We're like lobster right now. You yeah. realize that? Yeah, I, I walked. In, I literally walked in the trailer to go get a little bit of lunch, and then walked out, and they got the air titans out here working again. I saw them working all day yesterday for the truck race, and what you now have for we're lunch? Back. Uh, meatball sub. So. Meatball sub is that yeah. the the secret for Brennan Brown? I, I hope it is. We're gonna try it this weekend. We've tried. We've tried just about everything else. We've tried pastas and. We tried, uh, you know, tacos, burritos. That didn't help. Uh, we tried some. Uh, so I don't know. That might be good burritos. in a 35 lap or a burrito, but yeah. I don't know about a, a yeah. you know, a I, big I race like this. I thought maybe I'd get some of the the deep burrito luck with a burrito. Oh, but, there you go. Yeah, but, deep burrito uh, it, plug. It didn't didn't work out as much as we thought. But no, the Teal Nation car has been really good this weekend. It's been really fast. Um, you know, it, it's kind of a bummer that this rain keeps coming out because uh, I feel like the top groove starts to kind of get worn in, and then right after it, it's, you know, rain kills it. But, uh, no, it's, it's been a lot of fun this weekend so far. All right, Brandon Brown, we appreciate right. it. Thank, Thank you, you so much to Teal Nation number 90, the Harmonator right next door. Oh, we do have Chad Fincham. Check it out. This guy right here has cut his teeth at places like Kingsport That's right it. around the block. We're actually staying near Kingsport at a little mini Bristol. Hey, if they were racing tomorrow night, which one would you go to? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's, uh, no, we, I, yeah, I've raced, you know, tons of late models over at Kingsport uh, throughout the years, and it's, uh, it's just a small version of Bristol. It's, uh, it's about four-tenths of a mile, all concrete, high bank. So I, I cut my teeth there uh, starting in 2013 and uh, uh, won a lot of races and and, and you know, come off of an a K and N win in 2016 uh, at Bristol. So this is this is a little bit of a change going into the Xfinity car. You know, we got more power. The tires are different. Um, so there's a learning curve to be made. But uh, you know, we're we're definitely having fun and and we're pretty quick. I think we ended up 20. 
high 20s at the end of that practice, so we're looking forward to going into this next practice. Is, is that your new PR guy right there, Timmy Hill? Taking yeah. photos for you, That's, doing social media for you? Hey, you know, anybody, anybody can do it. It don't, it don't matter. I just, you know, like, he's a hopeless romantic, Timmy Hill, correct? <laughs> hopeless romantic. Yeah, Matt loves my videos I post, and uh, I think he's, ultimately, I think he's jealous. I, I think I am. <laughs> yeah, he's hopeless. Hey, um, uh, how much do you love Tennessee? I love Tennessee. I live here. Uh, I'm born and raised. How much? And, uh, one to uh, ten. One to ten? I, I say ten. So yeah. do you know Rocky Top? Rocky Top, you'll always be home sweet home to me. I know the chorus. Good old Rocky, Rocky Top. This is a foreign language. Oh, you're made. supposed to go woo. <laughs> Come on. Woo. woo? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you. See Tennessee's over right there. That's awesome. Oh, that's really cool. Chad Finch, and what a great young man right there from the state of Tennessee, of course. Bristol, Tennessee is a home sweet home for him in this series. Ross Chastain, the number four, a four-car team. We had to come down here because a four-car effort this week, Harrison Rhodes in the 01. Back in black for Garrett Smithley in the number nothing car. And then across the way, check it out, Reed Sorensen driving the 15 this weekend. Tommy Joe Martins is right over here, Ole Miss. See if we can grab Tommy Joe real quick here. Get him out in the out of the uh, darkness there and into the sunlight. All right, man, uh, you got Ole Miss on your helmet. I do. Are you going to take some crap this weekend in Tennessee? Uh, I shouldn't. <laughs> Look, we're going to take enough crap all year. We had a bunch of, we had a pretty busy off season over there at Ole Miss. So uh, I don't know. I think everybody's going to just throw stones at me all year, but uh, whatever. I'm going to stick by it. All right, man. I'm uh, proud. You've been busy not just with race cars right here like this number 78, but yeah. you're opening up a restaurant? A restaurant? What? Yeah. Did I see something where you had some restaurant thing going or well, something? I'm managing the truck team now. Oh, okay. wow. So that's, that's a whole other issue. By the way, that's the most nervous I've ever what been. What happened to your finger there? Let's say, oh, no, this is me. Oh, okay. Around. I thought you had a cast. No, I got nothing. No, We're no. good. Uh, no, th this is the most nervous I've ever been, honestly, in racing. Was really? Yesterday, sitting on a pit box, watching my truck try to qualify into the race on top. Oh, Because there was nothing I could do about it, and that's kind of Because you don't have the feel. control. Your hands aren't on the that's wheel. That's a weird feeling. But Austin did a really good job for us. We got tore up there at the end of the race, but he was running a pretty good race. So we're going to have Austin Wayne Self in our truck in the 44 yep, for yep. a few races this year, probably about six or seven more. So that's going to be good. And then hopefully about four, five, six more races here with BJ. So I'm going to be staying pretty busy. You'll be seeing me around. And you don't have the BJ McLeod hair yet? I, not yet. No, not he's yet. trying to convert no. me, but I'm going to keep it. I think I'm going to keep it high and tight. <laughs> All right. So Tommy, Tommy Joe Martin's the number 78 car. And uh, speaking of the BJ hair, the beach is over here. Check it out. B.J. McLeod, the man, the myth, the hair, the B.J. McLeod. We got to hustle. I think we've had a lot of fun on Garage Cam. I don't even know how long it is into the show because we started late. Um, so it might be an abbreviated version unless practice ex is extended. So don't, don't really know. We're just going to wing it, baby. 07 of Ray Black back in the number 99. David Starr with the Whataburger colors. Taking your uh, requests on NASCAR Facebook Live. Of course, uh, Eric Amarola, and we, of course, talked to Ben Kennedy and the number 96. I'm sure we have some shout-outs and stuff to, to give you. We appreciate you joining us on the show. If we check out here, uh, uh, Kathy Glass in Bristol, baby. Oh, yeah, Cody uh, Tabor on there, John Adams with the uh, number 88. Wanted to see some love with that. Holly Geshert. Uh, Gearhart, you want to see uh, Ryan Reed, where we're coming right up to that Ryan Reed car momentarily. Spencer Gallagher, check it out in the number 23. The 52 of Joey Gase. We'll keep an eye out for some drivers. Are you looking for Jeremy Clements? Am I looking for what? Jeremy Clements? I've heard of Jeremy Clements. Have you? Oh, my God. I've heard of Jeremy Clements. Where is he? Let, hold on. Let me go. You should, be a, you should almost be like his PR person instead of JJ's. Oh, I believe uh, it was 2000. Oh, I'm going to date myself. I don't know. Uh, you could correct me if I'm wrong, folks. 2002 that Jeff Green got the victory here at Bristol Motor Speedway. And uh, now he's in that number 93 this weekend. I love seeing him here. This guy right here is just outside of the bubble trying to make it into that chase. And uh, chasing him down is Ryan Sieg, about 34 points, 34 markers, whatever you want to call it, back to try to get in that top 12. So. Uh, the number 14 right here uh, of J.J. Yaley, of course, of 
the Phoenix, Arizona area. And the number 51, eagerly awaiting the entrance of the, the legendary putting on his sunglasses, looking like he just got off of a hero card and went from one-dimensional to two-dimensional. Got off what? You, you look like you just came from a hero card, man. You yeah. just came out of a phone booth with those glasses. I wish. Look at this sun, man. I was in there in the trailer hiding, and it was raining real bad. Now we're it's sunny. It's like it didn't it is, even rain. It is sunny, man. We've had wow. a rainstorm, but, I mean, this is Bristol, uh, but it's a different Bristol. This is Bristol? Yeah, this is Bristol. You have, have you seen, like, there's, like, grandstands out there? Oh, dang. Oh, yeah. wow. I didn't know that. You, you should really uh, get some different sunglasses. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so hey, uh, we're hey we're on NASCAR Facebook hey. Live right now. By hey the way, hey guys, how are you? So Good to see uh, you. there's some been plenty of requests for Jeremy Clements. Uh, my, my, I want to know, I want to know about the about. grip strip because it's uh it comes off a little more, you know, further, you know, down low. How different is it now that you've got to practice in a way? It definitely starts to come up after the cars are on it a long time. So yeah. I don't know. I mean, or, it just depends on what they do. Like tomorrow when Cup gets here and they're on it we're on it and in that race it's just going to go away and you're going to see guys go to the top just like last night and yeah the top will still be there but you'll have the bottom too i mean i think it's a perfect world so i think it's good it helps the bottom be better because without it the bottom is not where you want to be especially in the race so you're, you're a south carolina gamecock guy aren't you i, I like clemson you're a clemson guy okay yeah. well that's another south carolina deal so <laughs> how much do you, how much do you love Look at this guy. Oh, wait, no, this is, no we should just uh, let's eating? just make him eat a burrito no i'm good what are you what are you eating there yaley this is truck driver special it's got meat onion cheese i think those are potatoes peppers and i believe onions why are you so scared clements i just man right now it's, it's hot i don't want that this this is just like the don't you eat squirrel in, in gaffney that's the same <laughs> stuff that you have down there uh, he always says i'm from gaffney and he knows i hate that but that's okay is it, is it not what that's is okay. it Spartan. Spot is spot bug. Spot, He's down spot, in spot, spot bug, South Ward Carolina. Ward is not from Spartanburg. <laughs> he should be. <laughs> <laughs> so how come you're not finishing it then? Why put your money, yeah, put, well, your, put well, your uh, burrito where your mouth is. I don't know if you've realized that if you could take, let me take the camera. Wait, can I use the camera? Let's see something real quick. All right, uh, this is going to be okay. trouble. Here, so, I got to mic you well, though. I got to, I got to go back farther. Can I you zoom can out? Up. You can still, like, no, like, I need to zoom. Up. No, I'm trying to zoom like, out zoom to out. show. It is out, I think. It's no. right there. Why do you want to look at me? No, I'm the trying, fans don't want to see me. I'm trying to zoom out to what? show the difference between a guy who eats the whole burrito. Right here. There, there's a whole, there's two burritos in there. That's about two. Yeah. Yeah. So. Like a chorizo burrito maybe. And this is a half a burrito. That's the difference. And that's no burrito. I think. <laughs> I thought it was just because you're getting old. You're shrinking in your uh, old age. No, because I would. I would be like this. All right. So, so. Uh, well, let's let's talk about zombie auto. Okay. Let's talk about zombies. And no, zombie, auto. zombie auto. Tell us about that. We don't know what that is. I want to know what it is, but it's I want to know. Bringing what... dead cars back to life. And if you look here, they are a proud sponsor, Bristol Motor Speedway. Oh. Don Sims uh, is the owner, and we are definitely glad to have him back a part of NASCAR. He used to be a sponsor for me when we had United Mining Equipment. That's so, cool, man. Anytime you got a rat rod deal you bet on you your car right if there. If it looks fast, that's like half the battle. So I wish the weather was nicer. So you, you, you have you have half or whole speed right now then? Because you look fast. Uh, I look fast. I'm not, I'm not exactly in the both departments of okay. speed. Still but working you're working on, on that. that. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, I mean, practice is crazy right now. The racetrack is definitely different than what it was last night in the truck race. It's going to be 100% different than this tomorrow after we put cup cars on it. So it's difficult to really spend a lot of time tuning on the race car knowing that you'll have a racetrack like this literally for part of the first thing. All right, J.J. Ellie. Well, we appreciate it. Show yeah, you the number 14 glad, car right there. Glad to be part. If you, if you get an opportunity, you can stop off the front of the truck and grab yourself a burrito. I can't what now because uh, I'm, I've, uh, you just crushed my confidence. You can take it to you. It's okay. Okay, I will. <laughs> J.J. Ellie is the number 14 offering up some burritos. you got to love that. Uh, hey, guys, we, we going to get burritos after the show? Uh, Justin Beatty, by the way, he's single, ladies, on NASCAR Facebook Live. He's, he's single. He's a Cardinals fan, though, so you know it's not going to go well. He's not single. He's lying. <laughs> the number 24, Jeb Burton, Dakota Armstrong. And, of course, there was a request for the number 16. 
of driver Ryan Reed. There is that Lily Diabetes car, the number double. Hey, hey Matthew Dunner. Yeah, what's up? Um, I know this has sort of been a weird show because we started late, <laughs> uh, but I'm going to give you an update. It is 2.57, but I am not sure if practice has been delayed because of that rain. So, so this could not, be big this could right be here. the last three minutes. Last three minutes, and we've still got like half the cars to go. Yeah, we, we did have a delayed version. Hey, keep an eye out for this driver over here, uh, Brendan Gone. We'll see if we could talk to him. We'll see how many drivers we could get in here in the last uh, possibly three minutes. We could go eight minutes. We could go 13.5. Who knows? Uh, but we'll uh, we'll have fun doing. Hey, check it out. Michael Annette's up here. We haven't had Michael Annette on the show since maybe the beginning of the season. So we'll see if we can grab Michael Annette real quick as he's standing in the front of his pilot flying J car. All right, uh, Annette. Um, how are you doing, buddy? I'm good. Uh, you know me, I don't like the humidity part of this. So when, no. the, when, the, when the weather was blowing in, I enjoyed that uh, a little bit of cool breeze. But obviously, uh, we want to dry racetrack to get this uh, next practice in. We, uh, you know, we unloaded pretty close, kept getting better and better. So uh, we, we, uh, we enjoy uh, this extra practice this time that, that a lot of us thought we weren't going to get, so I'm smiling right now. All right, let me get over here so I get out of the way of your guys real quick and take the spot of your PR guy here. You know, we always like to find out things about drivers and about people that people don't know about, and I found out something recently about you. Oh? You admitted to me that you like the show Roseanne. Oh, yeah. I, how, how much? I was, Explain. I, I, I mean, it, it's, uh, I don't think you can ever turn your TV on and not find it on a channel. I think it's on four channels throughout the day. Uh, it's Especially on the weekends, so um, you know, from the time I wake up on the bus to uh, by the time I put my fire suit on, and come down the track. I was, I was watching it this morning. They were at Disney World. They're at Disney World. <laughs> They're at Disney World. Uh, so, what's your favorite Roseanne show moment? Uh, there's a uh, there's too many account. Honestly, I, I pretty I, I feel like every episode is the exact same. So that, so to to pick uh, to pick one, but um you know just uh, you know I'm I'm a little bit of a smartass. So I think just between uh, you know when Roseanne and Dance are going each other. I think that's what I enjoy. And do you have the theme song as your ringtone or anything really dumb like that? I don't know, but I can no. I can tell you like every, you know, each year they change the intro. You know, one year yeah. they're eating pizza, one year they're eating Chinese, one year they're playing poker. So, one uh, year I, weren't they like cutouts too of themselves? Yeah, or like it, it got, you know, motion? you know that uh, it, it got weirder and weirder as the uh, the seasons kept going on. We actually after uh, after she won the lottery there towards the end of the seasons, we kind of we, we quit watching. So, uh, but uh, I'm excited to see them come back on the air, see what they're going to do. But um, you know, you're get Roseanne Barr in this car now. You realize uh, yeah, that, I know. Right? I, I'd Not like to. physically, but like I, actually. Hey, like a, I said, they're, com they're coming back on. Uh, they're coming. Yeah. <laughs> they're coming back on the air, so they're going to need some promotion. They are so, really. So maybe, uh, yeah, yeah. You hear it's about special that? Special guest appearance here. It's it, like this a, is your PR guy right here. <laughs> Hudson, work on that. We need it, to get. It's like a like a six to ten episode something on whatever whatever station they used to be on. So they're actually doing a reunion season. So they're going to need some promotion. Motion, I'd more than like you know more than well be happy to have them on the hood. Full House is back and Roseanne and this guy right here, driver the number five, needs to be on the show. We need a NASCAR driver on Roseanne. I'm just gonna put it out there. Maybe we could spread the word to Roseanne Barr that uh, driver the number five here is a huge fan and wants to be on the show. Done. <laughs> William Byron, the number nine Exalta car, one main financial. Elliot Sadler, one of the former winners at Bristol Motor Speedway. Matt Tift climbing into his car. Rowdy Bush, Kyle Bush, the number 18. The big winner in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series race last night, the number 20 of Daniel Suarez. And of course, Joey Logano, among the drivers that are the cup stars racing here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Let's come on back here because we passed a car, oh boy, that has one of those stripes on it that I think you guys will want to see. Of course, it's purple, it's goodies, it's the mixed berry blast. Number 88, it's Dale Earnhardt Jr., his last run at the Bristol Motor Speedway and they're unveiling a statue I believe of him today at 4:45 p.m. at Bristol Motor Speedway so that should be very interesting the number 44 of Tyler Reddick rolling on to Brennan Poole's car Austin Dillon over here it is hot and humid hot sticky icky at Bristol Motor Speedway it looks like practice might be delayed a minute or two why not Check it out. Guess what? Peekaboo. We're inside the car of Daniel Hamrick. Waving hello from the Blue Gate Bank. Number 21. And uh, Hamrick, I'll tell you what, had one heck of a run. 
last week, almost nabbing the win. Now coming back to a short track that he loves so very much. The number 21 of Daniel Hemrick. Let's uh, take a few requests here. Let's see, uh, Tina Gorill. Thank you, NASCAR. Uh, Hans Ron. Oh, yeah, Hans Ron. What's up? Love me some Xfinity Series Garage Cam because it's unpredictable and we talk to a lot of drivers and it's nuts. We have drivers singing. Uh, Amin, the older man. Run and gone, please. Well, if we could get, speaking of the older man, if we could get this older man outside, we would do it. But I believe he's hiding inside of the air conditioning. And guess what? I think cars are going to hit the racetrack right here, including this deep filter gutter protection. Number 11 of Blake Cook. Some other cars about to roll out for practice. Final practice for the Xfinity Series. Make sure you tune in to the Food City 300 Friday night. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, NBC Sports Network. It's Bristol, baby, and it's coming to you. Tune in tomorrow also to NASCAR.com. And until next time.